Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, today, we're going to be taking the Rocky Mountain Elk grind for the albino Rocky Elk into multiplayer to hopefully seal the deal on one of these beautiful albino Rocky Mountain Elk bulls. Uh, however, I would not be uh, too disappointed with some diamonds either, so we'll see if we can get a couple of those as well. Uh, not expecting to get a ton of stuff because multiplayer has been kind of back and forth recently, but on the off chance that we might get something cool, I figured it was worth a shot to try multiplayer instead of single player. So let's see how this works out and uh, yeah, let's uh, jump right into it. Oh my gosh, that's a big elk. Uh, that's, I don't think that's a diamond, uh, but that is uh, by far the best thing I've found in multiplayer so far. That is a stunning bull. Uh, we definitely need to try and get that guy down. Let's uh, back up a little bit. I don't want to spook these guys when I'm moving over here, but that's a very solid elk. I also saw two max weight estimate turkeys fly off, so uh, we might end up taking out those as well if I can find them again. Uh, because one of them was a light brown and the, then the other was just a common. Uh, but we did recently get a confirmation that apparently all of the fur types that we thought were over spawning, uh, apparently they're working as intended. So I guess we'll start shooting light brown turkeys again because it seems that they're working the way that they intended them to. Although uh, that could change based off of community feedback as with anything. But uh, as of now, everything is apparently working as intended, so we might start shooting those turkeys again. Uh, but this right here is a very solid elk and a very dead elk as well. You know, sometimes it can be very difficult at first glance to determine whether or not it's a light brown or uh, not light brown, but a light gray or an albino. Uh, when these guys have their heads down, it can trick you quite often. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this elk. Um, it, I don't think it's a diamond. Yeah, I don't think it is, although it is kind of wide. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this one's probably 450s, maybe 470s if we're lucky. And uh, yeah, 447. You know, I get a lot of these elk that score around 447. For some reason, that just seems to be a spot that this rack always hits. It always seems to be 447, and uh, you guys will see that a little bit later in this video. I'll show a few clips from my uh, Rocky Mountain Elk grind, but that's the first thing that we've shot today, and it's a pretty decent bowl. So overall, pretty good. Not going to lie. Pretty happy with how this is starting. Another thing that I did forget to mention, though, is based on a few comments that I got on the last uh, elk video, I have started carrying the 454 with me uh, because the penetration on this thing is absolutely crazy. And if we get ourselves a diamond, uh, we're probably going to take it with this just to uh, ensure that we will get the penetration we need because uh, I have had some bad luck with uh, some of the shots recently with the 300 Magnum. I don't know what's going on with it, but it just does not seem to uh, get the penetration that I'd like it to and uh, this guy's lake is absolutely insane for elk. I wasn't finding elk at a lot of his other lakes, but uh, this one right here has just tons of them everywhere. Too bad none of these are really anything crazy. Ah, uh, well, this may not be what we're looking for, but I really can't pass up the opportunity to take out an elk that is uh, that pathetic looking. Let's uh, see if we can get a shot in there. And we definitely did. I've been having a lot of issues with uh, getting good shots on moving elk recently. Uh, I don't know why, but my aim has just not been as good as it used to be. So I've been uh, trying not to take moving shots on these elk, but uh, in that scenario, I figured it was probably an okay option. But uh, let's go check that guy out. That's definitely going to be one of the smallest ones I've seen, so I'm very interested in it. Well, there it is. This is... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's not quite as pathetic as the one that we got a week or two ago, but that is a very pathetic elk. 9850. Oh my gosh. What a uh, what a small male. What a small male this little dude is. It's really not every day that you see something uh, quite like this for the Rocky Mountain elk. Uh, typically, level ones are just something you do not see. Uh, even... A lot of the level ones that you do see are like twice the size of this guy, so uh, this is quite the special trophy, but still not as impressive or, I guess, pathetic as that minimum weight one we got. A few minutes later. Oh, there we go. That is a uh, light brown level 3 turkey, I believe, or... Oh my gosh, wait a minute. That might not be... That might not be light brown. That might be an albino. I can't tell. 
um, I mean, either way, we're gonna take that thing out. That is really nice. I, I hope it's not light brown. I hope it's one of the others. If this is an albino or a leucistic, this will be one of the first super rares I've got in a very long time. I'm just hoping, I think it's light brown though. There we go. Oh my gosh. Well, that's pretty cool. I will definitely take that. It's probably just light brown, but it almost looked way too bright to be light brown. Uh, however, uh, yeah, it's definitely light brown. Well, that's still cool. That's still a, a cool thing to find. It's going to drop right in the water, I imagine. Actually, it's going to continue flying. Ah, 22 Hornet. How we love your underpowered long kill time. <laughs> but uh, thankfully, that's going to be getting buffed in the next update, which uh, will be pretty nice. So stuff like this. It shouldn't happen anymore, because, oh, there he goes. <laughs> well, now we uh, play the waiting game. You know, I'm a bit disappointed that this is only a light brown, which is uh, basically just a common at this point. I was really hoping that because it looked so bright that it would be an albino or a leucistic, but I mean, it is what it is. It's still pretty cool. If this is a really high scoring one, then that's going to be absolutely amazing. All right, let's uh, go ahead and see what this scores. It's a 4.60, so it is just a low scoring one. In fact, that's just like barely diamond, as this is probably about as low scoring as they can get. But uh, that's still pretty cool. Definitely uh, tax worthy. We'll toss that somewhere in one of our lodges. A uh, pretty decent, well, it's not really a start to the day because we've been recording for like an hour and 20 minutes, but it's the first good thing that we found, so I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh, there we go, legendary mountain lion. We're finally finding some good stuff, it's just not the elk that we're after. So, it took us like an hour and 20 minutes to find that turkey, and now uh, it's just took another five minutes to find this mountain lion here. We're finally getting into a good streak of finding some decent trophies, and I think it has to do with the fact that this is a level 10 server, and most of these lakes were completely untouched with no need zones at all. So, it does not surprise me that we found ourselves a couple diamond potential animals. Hopefully this guy doesn't troll, it does have a very low estimate of 37 to 39, uh, but I've honestly got pretty lucky with those estimates in the past. Uh, the question is, how long is it going to take us to actually find a good angle to uh, take this thing out at, because it's kind of facing us, so we're going to have to loop around. Okay, honestly, I think this is perfectly fine right here. Uh, we're going to be using the Mosin, so I think this should do decent with penetration at this angle. I uh, just got to hope that we're not too far away to where we get that uh, bug that causes it to be inaccurate. Uh, from what I've experienced, though, that only seems to occur over, 100, or over 350 meters, though, so I think we should be fine. We're going to wait for him to lift his head up and... Should be a good shot. Yeah, it's definitely good. He is dying. And one more for good measure. Just because he's going to stop and uh, give us that shot. There he is. We almost dropped him into the water, which uh, would have been quite unfortunate as we would have had to wait for it to float over. I think that might be a dark red. I might be wrong, but that looks dark red to me. And it is a dark red diamond at 3910. Like I was saying, I've had decent luck with these low uh, score estimate ones, and that's no different here. 39.10 and it's a beautiful dark red diamond mountain lion we are off to a great start here on this first hour and 30 minutes i'm really liking the way things are going i just wish we would have the same luck with the elk but sadly i've just not been able to get much for elk uh, the only good one we saw was at the beginning of this video which is a little bit unfortunate all right, well, I really don't see anything else. Uh, we're about two hours into searching. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and show off a couple stream highlights because we did recently run into a couple pretty cool max level animals on Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, one of them being probably the most amazing looking pronghorn I've ever seen in my entire time playing this game. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into those. And then after that, we'll show a few clips from my single player elk grind as well where we did end up getting our very first uh single player diamond elk oh my gosh hello there that's a uh, that's a that's a diamond pronghorn um i i don't want to mess this shot up 
We gotta be careful with this. This is a really weird angle to take. I'm gonna go down the hill. Oh my gosh. Well, it's not what we were looking for, but uh, I think it's kind of uh, kind of cool still. Now the problem is, I don't know where it's gonna go. Or like if we'll get another shot anytime soon. I don't know if it's gonna come back or if they're just gonna keep on moving. That's a two. That's a five. <laughs> That's him right there. That's our level five. I, I think it's literally got touching tips on the horns. It does. That's a weird one. Got him. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Ah. Don't you run me over. Getting chased by Pronghorn. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good looking one for sure. I like it. Just, uh... Grab this since we're in multiplayer. Don't want to get kicked or anything. That is such a cool pronghorn. You know what's wild? I got one like this a while ago and it didn't make diamond and I was so sad because it's one of the most unique looking ones. Like it's not every day you see a pronghorn where they're literally like almost touching. It almost makes a heart shape. It literally just made it by 0.20. That's cool. That is a really cool pronghorn. I'm really happy with that. Oh my gosh. Hello there. Is this our first diamond of the grind? Whoa, 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 whoa. Scarecrow from the past. Calm down, man. Stop taking these running shots. You're not that good. Chill out. Just take your time. Jeez. Did I just mess that up? No, I think we're good. Okay. No. No, I messed it up. How did I do that? No. <laughs> I should have waited. I should have waited. <laughs> uh, okay, that one's my fault. That one's my fault. It was too far back. Yeah, I know. And then on the second shot, I ran out of breath right as I shot, and so it went a little higher than I wanted. I should have just waited, but since this is multiplayer, I'm like super sketched out about... uh not taking things immediately with the amount of like uh, cheaters and stuff like that recently I, I don't think this is gonna make it though it's if it does make it it's a smaller one because the big ones don't spread out to the sides like that so I'm gonna call 484 it, it doesn't look very big it actually might be might even be a troll oh it would have made it no <laughs> 485 it happens though it is this is actually the smallest one I've ever killed I think I'm pretty sure all of mine have been like 487 or above that's unfortunate yeah that first shot was just oh, I just barely missed liver and then second one was just barely high Ah, it's unfortunate oh well it is what it is I'm not too worried about it Okay, so I have no idea where this guy has been hiding. This is definitely a brand new zone, and we've got three bull elk here. This is a lake that we've been hunting, but I've never had anything over on this side. But that level four looks a lot like a diamond. I really think this is going to be our first diamond of the grind. And it is the brown fur variation, which is pretty sweet as well. That's one of my favorites. I like the light gray a little bit more, but the brown is uh, better than the common. So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, let's hope this thing actually ends up making it. It definitely looks like it will. Uh, that is a stunning looking bull. Uh, probably one of the better level fours I've ever come across now the question is is it gonna fall just short or will it actually end up making it all right I'm gonna take a guess right now and say that this guy is probably gonna be around 494 I'm gonna call it there 494 is gonna be the score of this guy uh, 494.7 actually let's see if it ends up being anywhere close to that it definitely looks better than a lot of the uh, well, well, then both the level fives we've seen. So hopefully this will end up making it. Also gonna get that other one just uh, so we can get a second down. Well, there he is. An absolutely stunning level four elk. I definitely think this is bigger than those two level fives we killed. 
This one's gotta make it. I really feel like this one will. Ah, it's just a gold 446. How is this smaller than the other two? It looks bigger. Well, that is a little bit unfortunate, but it's still a big, really nice looking elk, so hopefully it'll respawn as a diamond. Well, we've got ourselves another stunning looking level 4. Once again, it's probably not going to make diamond, but this is another really good bull, so of course we got to take it down. It is a great looking Rocky Mountain Elk. And let's see if we can get this guy as well. Nope, he's going to get away before we get a chance to take that shot. Uh, hopefully there's actually going to be some others that give us a shot because there was more around here. I'm pretty sure I saw another bull run off. Uh, but we got the main one that we wanted, which is good. Hopefully it's going to end up making it. Uh, once again, I think it is one of these smaller racks, so I doubt it will make it. Well, there it is right there. Yeah, this is definitely not one of the uh, diamond racks as far as I can tell. It's probably going to be 450s. And uh, 447 actually. Uh, once again, a great looking bull though. Hopefully we are going to be close to a uh, diamond one. We've been killing a lot of these like mid 440s to 450s. So hopefully that diamond will be soon and hopefully the albino will be soon as well. For this last trophy, this ended up being our very first diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. I spotted it out here drinking at one of the lakes that I hadn't really checked too often because it never really had a ton of bulls. Uh, but sure enough, this time it did actually have a bull elk that was a level 5 indeed. So I was pretty excited to see that. It started walking away and I didn't have the 22 with me so I had to take a moving shot which as you guys just saw, my moving shots have not been the best recently so I was a bit worried about having to do this. But it did actually end up working out in the end but it sadly was not the greatest shot that I could have wished for it did get vitals but it was just barely and we were so close to messing up a nice diamond rocky mountain elk which would have been very sad to mess up two in a row thankfully we did manage to get him and we got him in the vitals and he ended up scoring a decent bit above diamond Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to comment down below. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!